Hello and welcome to another great workout of the week with Escape Fitness. We've got Andy here, our trainer, and today we're going to be working on a conditioning circuit using our new sandbags, the gripper and kettlebells. Okay, we're going to piece together exercises which are reasonably easy to learn, reasonably easy to perform, but put them all together and it becomes a very good conditioning based circuit. Really good for, the, for cardiovascular, cardiovascular development and also quite challenging for the overall strength um, and strength of endurance. So the exercise exercises Andy's going to develop and he's just going to, uh, he's going to demonstrate and he's just going to go through all the exercises in a sequence and then we can explain a little bit about the repetitions at the end. Okay, so Andy's going to start with the fireman's lift with the bag. He's going to get the side handles. You'll notice that the sandbag has a variety of handles for a variety of different lifts and exercises. Side handle grip, off we go, throwing it up onto the shoulder and back down to the floor and then alternating the shoulder. So this is a fireman's lift. Okay, so that's the first exercise. After that, he's going to go over to the cones. You're going to set up two cones with a distance. It can be five meters, it could be 10 meters. That's up to you to decide. And we're going to run to the end. We're going to put the bag on the floor. We're going to pick it back up again. So it's again, it's a fireman's lift, walk or run. Back to the floor, up again. So every time we get to a cone, we have to put the bag on the floor. Okay, and the quicker you go between the cones, the better. Great stuff, and then we'll move on from there. Next exercise is a kettlebell swing. Standing up with the kettlebell, head up, chest up, whipping the bell off the hips, pushing it forward, sending it back through the legs, keeping a nice neutral spine, bending at the hip, hinging at the hip, that is, extending at the hip as the bell travels forwards. Relaxing the arms. Okay. Next one we're gonna do with two kettlebells. Taking the kettlebells over to the cones, farmer's walk, all the way up, around the cones and back. Okay, make sure we're just keeping our head up, chest up, our shoulders back and down and our arms straight. And then we're going to come to the gripper. And we're going to do a one arm snatch. This is taking the grip, gripper with one arm pulling it nice and high and flicking it above the head, straightening out the arm at the top. Back down to the floor every time, making sure we're touching the floor and extending the arm above the head. Okay, same on the other side. And then we're going to take the gripper over to the cones and we're going to do a throw. Okay, we're going to start with the gripper on the floor, we're going to bring it up to the chest and throw it to the other cone. And then same again, back to the other side. We've got to try and hit the, hit the distance if we can. Uh, if you set your distance at five meters, you may need to actually do a few throws to actually get there, but as long as you're getting to the cone before you throw it back again. Okay, perfect. So those are the exercises. So as you can see, reasonably easy to learn those exercises. Not too challenging, but piece them together, it becomes a really good conditioning-based workout. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna perform all of the exercises for five reps each except for the kettlebell swing which will be ten so uh, with the sandbag you've got your five reps of those with the gripper you've got five reps of each on the on each arm any of the length based exercises it's five lengths in total that's up and back is one length okay so you'd be doing five lengths of those so piece all of those exercises together and put that into your conditioning workout for this workout of the week